to round number three. Welcome back to our interview after round number three. Camelo, you just won that match. Congratulations yeah. on you. that. Uh, well executed. Well executed. We, we uh, picked it because we knew that Adam was playing something crazy. Then he played against you. We were like, oh, here we have a world championship competitor. That's, that's cool. Thank you. And um, yeah, it, it went your way in the end. Yeah, but it, it was really a strange deck and I had no idea how I play with it. And then game two, if you let me start, <laughs> I was really confused because I thought maybe he play Pendulum on like this. Mm -hmm. uh, I blocked him with, um, what was it, anti-spell fragment yeah. and uh, a border. Okay, I had a really good opening hand. Um, yeah, I, I was really surprised uh, <laughs> about that play with, uh, what was it, Million Eater, then Evilly match, and yeah. it was really a strange... Uh, <laughs> it, it, it was quite interesting. Also fun to watch for us. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I we, believe we it. Were <laughs> like, oh, he's got three allures, that's, that's weird. And then the anti-spell fragrance, and yeah. you hit all of them in, in unison. And I think you would have preferred to hit the other card, which was Raigeki, if I yes. remember correctly. There was three Allure of Darkness and one Raigeki set to the other side <laughs> of the field. Yeah, yeah, I hit yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> so, Damn yeah. it. But, but quick recovery, quick recovery from yeah. you. Um, so second game um, went a lot more your way. Oh, sorry, they went a lot more his way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what was happening like in your mind after that? What did you decide to cite and, and how did you tackle that after So that. I, I really just saw some um, Alua and Wagiki and Wela, so I thought he played Pendulum Magician. So I, I uh, thought, okay, he played Pendulum, uh, I won the wise dice roll, I start, so i bordering to uh, going second version. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, you see it here, Amano, uh, Iwato and some mass removal. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that was my strategy and then, yeah, <laughs> then the camp like, um, he let me start and I was really surprised. <laughs> yeah. Then my plan was to draw like the one of like Skilldwain or Salem Judgment uh, cards like this to uh, survive the game. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, it was really... Okay, so you're, you're taking the loss in the second game. Did you notice that he did not side deck after the second game? Like he, he touched his side deck and just, just let it let it go and just started shuffling. So yeah, 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 I saw this. And <laughs> did it affect your side decking? No. Uh, yes, yes, uh, I uh, swapped my um, going second build to going first uh -huh. and bordering my iron walls. I didn't draw them <laughs> and then it was my plan was to, to draw the card. So right. I just draw the card, I, I used all my draw effect cards to get it, but I banished them with Nick for face two times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he must have liked that part, yeah. We were kind of surprised about those iron walls going out, actually. Uh, yeah, well, it was certainly a bit of a hit for, for your deck, obviously. Uh, Imperial iron wall. I know, I know. But I think uh, his deck is, is it's, it's hurt more like, like my deck. And if I have a masterpiece with iron wall, I don't know what he can do. Yeah, mm. so and I think yeah. uh, he, he also played Cosmic Cyclone. This is yes. also great. Yep. And yeah. Yeah, actually, but he had, uh, I think, zero outs. Yeah, we, we checked to, through his list. And yeah. if you have an already face up Imperial Iron Wall, his only way to remove it would be to chain a Cosmic Cyclone so he yeah. can't deal yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, okay, I have a little bit of luck in the late game, but you know, it happened. It was great. Let's, <laughs> let's talk about your choice for the weekend. Um, going into this, you probably expected a lot of Pendulum Magicians. Of course. And uh, why do you then play True Draco? Honestly, it's easy to play. The strategy is simple. I think uh, Pendulum Magicians is very, very hard to play. Mm -hmm. You need a lot of practices and uh, 
I got no time the last weeks, uh, a lot of private issues, and uh, I um, talking with some friends and um, dear friends. Uh, we play nearly the same list, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I, I think uh, it's a good counter to Pendulum Magicians because it's a going first build. Uh, okay, you, you must be a little bit lucky, but to be dice roll. It's but part of the game. Yeah, yeah, part of the game. That's, yep. that's part of the game, and uh, I think uh, I have good matchup. With uh, with, uh, with the deck with Pendulum Magicians. Thomas, what would be your take on, on True Draco? Is there something where you're like, this is standing out to me? Uh, well, we see the uh, the Monarchs Erupt coming in. It's essentially more copies of Skill Drain for the deck. Really, very, very powerful at the moment. Uh, why did you choose to only play two copies? Normally, I want to play three copies, but I just uh, got only two, and that's why okay. I play 40 <laughs> cards. Uh, I played uh, Skill Drain and... Uh, if I start with, with anti-spell or border, what can Pendulum do? Mm, Honestly, yep. what, what can they do? I, I have no idea what they can do. <laughs> Otherwise, I go to game two and, and side Let, let's cards. hope you will yeah. not learn it in like the, the worst <laughs> way possible. When yeah. the, but Pendulum players like this is what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> just just watch me. Yeah, that happened later. <laughs> yeah. So so it's a bit too early to ask probably yeah. if if you wanted to change anything about the deck. But I think at the end of the day or something, you might have some ideas. Yeah. And then I have my. Uh, uh, my my own opinions about uh, what right. what is not what running not so good what running really great and yeah let's let's see how far I came with this list. <laughs> okay, well maybe we don't get that much uh, tech information out of you because you said you, you don't have that much yeah. uh, time leading up to this one. But you've been at the World Championship, so so you're very competitive. What what about the mindset that you need to go into this tournament? What what do you need to what, after you take a loss, for example? How do you handle that? <laughs> Keep concentration and play game after game after game and do the best place I can do. I think that's the uh, so best way. Yeah, if I one match one. at a time, yeah, basically. Yeah. I, I know we have so many players, and if you lose one match, it's mm -hmm. you are yeah you are on the bubble like like this. I think you are nearly on the bubble, and uh, it's hard. It's really hard. Okay. Because we have no top uh, uh, 64. Right, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's just top 32, yeah. yeah. And that's just, uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're right, you're right, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But we do have eight rounds today, three more rounds tomorrow, yep, so exactly. if you do well today, tomorrow is almost like all, all free, um, you don't have to win any of them, almost, almost. Yeah. Just, yeah. just one, just with a draw or something like that. But I'm not advocating that. Don't don't get the wrong idea. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Um, good luck for the rest of the Thanks. day. Hope to see you again. Maybe maybe in the finals. Maybe maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> see it later. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're gonna take a quick break and try to be back as soon as possible for you guys. I know that the main event has already concluded the round. Not quite sure how many uh, results are still outstanding, but there's a very good chance we might have like a quick feature for you guys in between rounds and we're going to be right back with round number four of YCS Bochum. <laughs>